Hello my fellow investors and welcome back to another stock analysis video. Today guys we're going to be taking a look at the utility company AWK. I'm actually fairly surprised that I've never actually done this one. I have done a lot when it comes to like electricity and other kind of utilities, gas, though I have never done a water one which is actually kind of surprising. So let's actually take a look at this company guys, analyze your fundamentals, take a look at the book value per share price to see if at the current one it is a pretty good price. And of course, I will be revisiting this one tomorrow once their earnings come out, as you can clearly see right here. They do have earnings, guys, after market close, so that's going to be fairly interesting to see. So with that said, let's get started with this analysis. Starting, of course, guys, with the dividend summary. This company has a dividend yield of 1.8%, which ends up being $0.66 cents per share for an annual payout of $2.62. Payout ratio of 55.34%, five-year CAGR of 9.74%, and 13 consecutive years of dividend growth. Ex-dividend date is actually coming up on November 7th, so if it looks like this company might be a pretty good buy, if you buy before this ex-dividend date, guys, you will get that payment on on December 1st and of course they do pay their dividends quarterly. Coming into the calculator guys, we got the ticker symbol for AWK, market cap of $26.5 billion and a PE of 20.45. With a current share price of $145.94, according to the PE, it may actually be a pretty decent price to buy it at. And in fact, looking at guys, this year graph, we can see that on the one year, they're down 16.75% and on the year to date, they're down 20.75%. 52-week ranges are $123 and one penny to $189.65. We're somewhere in the middle, not at the 52 week low, but somewhere in the middle. So all of that looks pretty good. However, it doesn't really tell us. We're gonna use book value and tangible book value to determine if $145 is actually a pretty decent price to buy this at. Now, in accordance to this annual dividends of $2.62, based on the current shares outstanding, guys, this means that they pay out $476 million being paid out in dividends every single year. Now, coming to the fundamentals, starting, of course, with the net income, we got five years ago of $426 million to today, guys, of $1.3 billion. That is an increase of almost 205% on the five year. Now, the one thing I don't like to see here, guys, is this massive jump from two years ago to one year ago. I think this is perfectly understandable. The fact that everything just skyrocketed in this period with like the whole inflation situation that was currently happening. I think that's perfectly understandable. But overall, guys, the grade that I'm actually going to give this would essentially have to be like an 80%, mainly because I don't really like that massive jump from two years ago to one year ago. Coming now into the revenue, we got five years ago of $3.4 billion to today, guys, of $3.8 billion increase of 14%. Now, even though, guys, this today's value isn't necessarily, I guess, looking that good. This year for them isn't over yet. So they could still beat their net revenue so far this year, seeing that we still have one more quarter left, or at least two months left for Q4. And I personally believe that they will be able to surpass this $3.9 billion that they did last year. So overall, guys, I'm going to have to give the revenue like a 95%. Shares outstanding. Unfortunately, when it comes to this one, guys, they are increasing shares by a little bit. We got five years ago of 178.4 million shares to today, guys, of 181.8 million shares. That is a very, very tiny increase, guys, of not even 2%, 1.91% on the five year. And from the previous year to the current year, it is only 0.11%. Now, the reason why you want companies to be buying back shares is because the more shares a company issues, the more dilution you get as the investor. And on top of that, guys, if they do pay out a dividend, the more shares that they have outstanding, the more dividend they have to pay out, meaning that the payment for that dividend is actually going to get less and less secure. If a company buys back shares, not only does your piece of ownership of the company grows, but it actually becomes easier for them to pay out that dividend. Now, 2% guys isn't really that big of a deal for me, but nonetheless, I still have to give it, I guess, like a little bit of a debt because it is an increase overall. So I'm going to give it like a 75%. Coming now into the total assets minus the total liabilities, guys, this is actually looking really, really solid, consistently increasing year over year. Even this year, that's not even done yet, guys. They're at $7.57 billion, which is really, really solid. It's even surpassing one year ago at $7.3 billion. Average total assets is $23.5 billion. Average liabilities is $17 billion. And doing this difference, we get $6.4 billion 
I'm going to have to give this guy a perfect score of 100% because this is a very, very smooth looking graph. So now coming over here, guys, to the overall grades, we gave the net income an 80%, revenue, 95%, shares outstanding, 75%, and the assets minus liabilities of 100% for a total grade of 86%. And now when it comes to the valuation, guys, we're going to take a look at the book value per share. What this one does, it, it essentially takes the assets minus the liabilities and then divides that by the current shares outstanding. And this tells you what the company should be worth based off of their balance sheet. And unfortunately, guys, as it currently stands, the company should be worth at $41.64. This is up 38% from the past five years where they should have been worth $30.18. Now, there is another one, and that is the tangible book value. And this one essentially removes anything that is non-tangible. This one, to some people, is actually more accurate than the book value one. And in accordance to this one, guys, as of today, this should be worth $35.35. That is an increase of 58% on the five year, whereas five years ago, they should have been worth $22.40. And unfortunately, looking at these valuations, guys, if we take the price divided by the current book value and the price divided by the current tangible book value, we get the ratio as to how expensive they are in relationship to today's price. And doing this, guys, for the book value, we get a ratio of 3.5. And for the tangible one, we get 4.13. You essentially want this to be as closest to 1.00 as possible. Under one, it is undervalued. At one, it is at value and over one, it is overvalued. Normally, if something's overvalued by like a couple tenths of a decimal point, then that to me isn't really, really that much of a big deal. However, guys, this one's overvalued by two and a half points on the book value and even more in the current tangible book value. So with the current share price of $145.94, essentially $146, guys, unfortunately, this company is looking a bit overvalued for me. Now, even though this calculator, guys, doesn't take into account any assumptions, I still suggest everybody to have this calculator and take a look at the company's fundamentals. Maybe you think that this three point five premium is actually something that you're willing to pay for, right? Maybe you think that they'll grow even further into the future. If you believe that, then this might actually be a fairly decent price to buy it at. Obviously, this is not financial advice and every investment is the present value of all future cash flow. So have these calculated, guys. I have this one, of course, the discount and free cash flow one, the re-evaluation one, and a dividend tracking sheet for everybody to have. And by the way, full disclosure as well, I do own a WK. I actually have it right here. I don't really own a lot of it. I don't run like $283 or so but i still like to own a couple of utilities so it is what it is as you can see i'm actually fairly down on this one by around like 18 dollars or so so it is what it is i pretty much just bought it at a really really high valuation and now i'm kind of suffering from it because i'm technically losing money on it on a gains perspective and all i'm asking for in giving out these calculators and of course daily videos guys i've been busting my butt with all these earnings reports it's just crazy i've been trying to put more than one earnings in one video and it takes forever to edit all I'm asking for in return, guys, is just help me grow my channel. Let's subscribe, comment. It really does help out with the algorithm on YouTube. Thank you so much for everybody who have subscribed. As if I'm recording this, we're up to what? 1,330 subscribers? That's absolutely insane. Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. And it really does motivate me to keep making these videos and to provide you guys even more content. And actually, probably very, very soon, maybe like within like two or three weeks from now, I may start a new series that I'm going to show you guys essentially me buying a certain amount of dollars worth of stock. So that might happen. We'll see, but it might happen within like the next couple weeks or so. So again, thank you so much for everybody who have supported me so far. Thank you so much. The best way you guys can support me again is just like, subscribe, comment. It really does help. So now guys, let's actually see how much money you would get if you were to invest $5,725 into this company with a current annual dividends of $2.62. This would essentially buy you guys 39.23 shares, which would become an annual dividend of $102.78, quarterly dividend of $25.70, and a monthly dividend of $8.57. My personal opinion, guys, for $5,725, I would like to get a little bit more money for that kind of investment. So, you know, anything above $200 would be awesome. $102, eh, yeah, it's pretty much just telling me that it is a little bit expensive. But overall, guys, when it comes to AWK, as I said, I think the company is great i don't really know that many water utility companies out there that you could invest in i only know of awk honestly and you know it's a good company it's just depending on what price you buy it at honestly i think that they do have a great perspective in the future but 
as it currently stands, I just find it a little bit expensive for my taste. And you can clearly see me losing around $18 for this company. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling it right now. That pretty much does it for this video, everybody. Like if you like, comment, subscribe. It really does help over the algorithm on YouTube. You guys can follow me on my YouTube sites. Link in the description below. So with that said, peace out. I will see you all in the next stock analysis video, as well as the earnings report analysis.